Good morning, floss tube people. I hope you're having an all right day so far. Um, I have a couple of things to show you. Um, I have my yellow submarine. It's all finished. Uh, I embroidered it on some I think it's 16 count, probably. <laughs> if not, it's 14. Um, Ada, that I hand dyed myself. And I used all the called for DMC colors, because they were just like the cartoon. Um, except for the, the black outline, is done in E310 rather than 310 cotton 310 so it's a bit more sparkly and I picked this green Ada because you know sky of blue and sea of green in our yellow submarine so and the hoop is just an inexpensive bamboo hoop that I covered in old scraps of um, kind of economy floss. It's it's not the good stuff. It's just cheap stuff that I don't like working with. It's kind of fuzzy and, and abrasive. So so it's good for doing that kind of thing. I just used some Aline's Tacky Blue on the inside of the hoop and wrapped it around in a coil. Um, to finish the back here, I... Um, I know that there are some people out there that will probably take offense, um, but I, I, uh, I simply, I didn't have enough fabric to do like a gathering stitch at the back. So instead I just took more Aline's tacky glue. I trimmed off the excess because I only had like the little cor the corners of the square left. So I cut those off and I, glued this down and I held it in place while the glue dried with some um, quilt binding clips. They're just these little purple things that are nice and, and springy so they, they really hold things in place. They're fantastic. Um, and that's what I did there. Otherwise I would have just done a gathering stitch and I would have been done with it. But there you go. That's how I did that. Really, really fun and festive. La la. Um, I have another finish. It's um, super mod on some, again, I think this is 16 count Ada. And yeah, it's a Scandinavian um, design. This yellow submarine comes from Witchy Stitcher, by the way. Um, and her design, it actually says the Beatles underneath the submarine. But I thought, well, the submarine's pretty iconic. I think people will know what that is. So I don't think I'll need to you know, stitch the Beatles in there. So that's why I didn't. Um, this pattern is one of three. It came in a set of three Scandinavian mid-century modern style designs um, that I bought from um, Pattern Art Studio, I believe is the name of her Etsy shop. So it's another PDF that I bought. There's this pattern, there's another one with just solid squares and a lot more of them. And there's another one that came with it as well that's got circles. Um, and they're just these abstract, nifty looking doodads. And I've got these oval hoops that I really like because um, I like plastic hoops because they're light. Um, I mean, I, in case I've never mentioned it, I always stitch in hand. You, well. I shouldn't say always for anything, but um, I tend to stitch in hand with 
with cross stitching. Other embroideries, no, I use hoops. Um, and it's because of that that I found these plastic guys because they're lighter than bamboo or wood, which is nice because anything you can do to make things more comfortable and ergonomic, the better. Um, these are great uh, because they've got an extra feature. They've got the tongue on the inner hoop and there's a groove in there, you see? And the tongue and groove construction, as any of you who know about woodworking uh, or just construction in general will know, tongue and groove is extremely uh, um, strong. So when you tighten this bad boy up with your fabric in there, that fabric isn't going to really change much. So if you like to embroider um, with kind of heavier stitches, especially like punch needle or um, if you like doing turkey work or something like that where you're making lots of poking and you're going to be making fuzz and stuff like with turkey work, um, these kind of hoops are great. The regular kind that are just flat, you can use obviously, but you need to wrap them. At least I find I, I have to wrap them um, to have any kind of stability with my tension or I'm constantly adjusting it. So yeah, these are good. Um, if I had been smart, I would have brought over the uh, one with a label still on it. I get them on eBay. I think they're called SKC brand or something like that. Um, but yeah, I get them from eBay. They come in all different sizes and shapes. I've seen they have these ovals. They're about four and a half this way by mm, nine this way. Uh, so they're great for kind of, inch, uh, they're just an interesting shape. I don't know, I, I, I like hoops. I like hoop collecting in general, but I really like um, different styles and shapes and colors. And I've got some that are in a smaller oval than this. Um, they're quite little, and I'm not sure what I'm exactly going to do with them yet. But these also come, obviously, in circles. I've got some, like, two and a half inch round circles that are super fun. Um, and they come in, I've got green pink, blue, mm, orange, I think that's it for colors so far. If I find more, I'm going to get more. Um, but yeah, these are, these are good hoops for tension issues. So yeah, I'm going to be framing this. Well, probably this way around, because it's got that thing on the top. But yeah, it'll fit in there rather well. See? Ta-da! <laughs> it'll be super cute. Um, and I believe I've got enough fabric around the edge here so that I can actually do a gathering stitch and, and do it like that. I'd rather do that than glue. So, yeah. As a habit, I this is actually the very first cross stitch that I've ever hooped to finish it. Um, I always do, um, like framing, like I'll frame it myself. I've never actually paid anyone to finish an object of mine. Uh, I don't know, I'm just, I'm funny like that. Plus I really don't have the extra money to spend like a hundred dollars to frame a piece. Especially since my pieces tend to be like this. They tend to be really kind of, uh, pop culture stuff. So I'm not really worried about people enjoying it a hundred years from now or whatever. I mean, it'd be cool if they did, but you know, I'm not going to stress about it. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You can stress about it. Um, so anyway, there's my door. So I better go. 
I'll talk to you later. Bye.